You probably heard of Jim Harbaugh, and you probably heard of John Harbaugh, but have you heard of Jack Harbaugh? Jack Harbaugh really only cares about four things. Hooters, sins, <laughs> cheating on his wife, and Big Ten football. Now Jack has a dream, and that dream is to win an NFL Super Bowl using a roster compiled of only Big Ten players. Wisconsin, Rutgers, Purdue, Penn State, Ohio State, Northwestern, Nebraska, Minnesota, Michigan, Michigan State, Maryland, Iowa, Indiana, and Illinois. Every single player on the roster must be from one of those teams, and for future auto-generated draft classes, I can only draft Big Ten players. So if there's a generational quarterback, but he played at Georgia, I cannot draft him. All right, boys, we'll kick off the season with a fantasy draft. My goal is to get at least one player from every Big Ten team. We got round one pick 15. We're smack dab in the middle, basically. Honestly, TJ Watt is an insane option. Wisconsin doesn't have too many good players, too. So this would be really nice to grab an insane Wisconsin stud. He's 28 years old, so he's not going to get too much better. But I hope to win a Super Bowl in about year four, year five. So he'll still be really good then. I'm taking TJ Watt. 15 in true value. Drafted him at 15. You gotta love that. No! George Kittle just got taken. No, last pick was George Kittle. I wanted him. That's actually such a bummer. Honestly, one of my favorite Penn State players of all time is Saquon Barkley. So I gotta go Saquon Barkley here in the second round. Another really good true value pick. He's already Superstar X Factor. He's 26 years old. Saquon's a move. Taking a look at quarterbacks. I was scared that CJ Stroud would get drafted and he did. We have Kirk Cousins, who's Michigan State. I just don't know if Kirk can really take us to a Super Bowl. I mean, maybe he can. Honestly, we could go Ohio State still. We could go with Justin Fields. Justin Fields is a star. I honestly think Justin Fields will be available next round. I don't think we have to take Justin Fields right now. So let's try and get something else. This is probably a little too early to take him, but I think it's going to be hard to get a Minnesota Golden Gopher. I can't think of a lot of Minnesota players. Antoine Winfield, also a really good true value pick. So we've got Saquon, TJ Watt, and Antoine Winfield. We've covered Minnesota, Penn State, and Wisconsin. I'm saving some of the big teams. I know Ohio State's gonna have studs all over the place. Shit! I wanted Witherspoon! Shit! Ah! Dude, this computer who picks right before me is sniping my Big Ten players. Next up, I'm taking a wide receiver. I'm gonna take Chris Olave. This is our first reach considered by Madden. I was looking for Garrett Wilson. He was taken, but Ohio State has a lot of good wide receivers in the league, so Olave is a great option too. So we've got Wisconsin, Penn State, Minnesota, Ohio State, State. Is there any young quarterbacks that we can get? Justin Fields. Justin Fields is still available. This is definitely my best option. I'm glad I didn't take him earlier. I was going to say it's still probably a reach now, but I just want to be safe. Back-to-back -back Ohio State guys right there. They don't call Iowa tight end university for no reason. This is probably a little early to take Laporta, but that's the biggest problem with these drafts. It's just getting all the players from the teams you want and making a good selection. Like that was actually aggressively early for Laporta there to get him in the sixth round, but dude, I I was just thinking how hard it's gonna be to find a Rutgers guy. Isaiah Pacheco is Rutgers. It's gonna be weird to have two running backs. You know what I could do? I could try to trade Saquon Barkley and get my hands on Michael Parsons. What if I had TJ Watt and Michael Parsons? Because Michael Parsons is Penn State. I think I gotta take Pacheco here just because there's not a lot of Rutgers guys. Here we go. This is actually a really nice pickup. I definitely could trade Saquon Barkley now. Jaquan Brisker. Star Penn State. I think Saquon will have good trade value too. And then we have Pacheco. I actually feel bad now, but drafting Saquon may have just been trade bait. What about Purdue? The only Purdue player I can think of in the league right now is there's George Karlaftis and Rondale Moore. It's the only two I know off the top of my head. Here we go, Illinois. I did not know that Kirby Joseph was Illinois, but Kirby Joseph is 22 star, 78 overall. The thing about that is like, if you did the rookie draft and you got a 78 overall star player, it would be a amazing pick. But in Madden, like they, they're calling that a reach. I think that shit's crazy. That's an amazing pickup for franchise right there. Jack Campbell's Iowa. I am totally picking him up. I love Jack Campbell. He progresses so well in these games. Oh yeah, the Lions did back-to-back -back Iowa pickups. I remember that. We drafted Laporta and then we drafted Jack Campbell. Maybe it was the other way around. Look who else is available. Daxton Hill, Michigan. I have three safeties now. Somebody's probably gonna get moved to a corner, but either way, we're getting somewhere right now. I don't have anybody from Northwestern. And I don't have anybody from Michigan State, but I have somebody in mind. Let's see if he's available still. Please tell me you're available. 
No way fucking. Oh my God, somebody took him. I am 100% trading. 100% I'm trading for Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed is literally my Eskimo brother. And yes, I say that every single video that I mention Jaden Reed and I will continue to. Nico Collins is Michigan though. I'm gonna take Nico Collins here. Salad young wide receiver. There's Rondale Moore too. Here's our Purdue guy, Rondale Moore. I'd prefer Carlaftis. Maybe we can find a way to trade for him. I have no D tackles right now either. Oye Mafe is Minnesota. We'll take him next. I have no O-line. Oh shit. I have literally no O-line. How did I forget about my entire offensive line? We'll start with Taylor Lewan, who's Michigan and star. Just gotta hope that he doesn't retire. Left guard will take Norwell. He's Ohio State. We do not have a Maryland player. Hey, you gotta give it to the Big Ten. The Big Ten can produce some offensive linemen. I have so many options here. Probably should have gone offensive line a little earlier. The only thing is offensive line just like does not matter. It's kind of sad, but it really doesn't. Ted Karras, Illinois, baby. Illinois center. My O-line's kind of old though. Hopefully we don't retire en masse. If the whole O-line has a coup and all retires at the same time, I'm gonna be in trouble. And then I'm going to take the 23 year old right tackle. Super low overall, but at least he's young. He should get better. I'm going to take Maurice Hurst out of Michigan at D tackle since we don't have a single D tackle at the moment. I don't have a player from Northwestern at all. That's the only team I don't have or Indiana. I don't have Indiana or Northwestern. Let's find an Indiana guy and a Northwestern guy and we'll call it a day. Actually, before I do that, I need corners. I don't have any corners either. Let's start with Amani Oruwarie out of Penn State. Oh dude, it's getting greasy. It's getting so greasy in here. SEC was so much easier. I guess I could go Bradley Rose. Cameron Mitchell, Northwestern. Let's go. A 21-year-old corner out of Northwestern. Cam Mitchell. Let's go. All right. Knocked you out. Now it's time for Indiana. Dude, what is Indiana got? Who's a Hoosier out here? Let's sort everybody by age till I find a Hoosier. Micah McFadden, Indiana middle linebacker, 23, and he's a good pick. I like that. All right, boys. That was our final pickup. I have one player from every Big Ten team. I do have some adjustments to make. I'll probably be trading Saquon. I'm going to advance to the end of the draft. Keep in mind, my backup may not be Big Ten players. The important thing is everybody that touches the field is a Big Ten player. All right, we're an 81 overall team. Let's look at this lineup. So our backfield right now is Ohio State, Penn State, Rutgers. I think we trade Saquon Barkley because Pacheco is so good and he's going to progress so well that why would we have two great running backs? Let's get some value out of Saquon. Olave's at wide receiver, Ohio State, Nico Collins, Michigan, Rondale Moore, Purdue. My offensive line, all Big Ten. And then we got Iowa at tight end. They're tight end university. No shocker there. Defensively, we've got Jack Campbell, Iowa. Oye Mafe was what, Illinois? Oye Mafe was Minnesota. Our backup middle linebacker is Micah McFadden. Left outside linebacker, of course, is TJ Watt. But I'm going to change my scheme here. I want TJ Watt to be... Actually, I might just move TJ Watt to left end. I also, some of these guys are not Big Ten. Maurice Hurst is Big Ten, but Devontae Wyatt is not Big Ten. Devontae Wyatt and Josh Pascal are actually both SEC, so I have to drop those guys and get some new ones in. We got Orowarie, we got Brisker, Kirby Joseph, and Dax Nail. Oh, shit, and Antoine Winfield. I spent, Jesus, I got so many safeties. All right, let's move some of these guys over to corner. Kirby Joseph is honestly not a bad corner. He's got good zone coverage, good man. Uh, his block shedding's already really bad, so yeah, Kirby Joseph might as well be a corner anyway. He's a really good option here for corner. Troy Hill is Oregon. We just got to make sure that Cameron Mitchell is starting. I'm making TJ Watt a left end. TJ Watt is now left end. I'm going to move Micah McFadden to outside linebacker. There's two players I need. Ironically, I went to Michigan State. I'm wearing the Michigan State gear and I don't have any Michigan State players. There's really only two that I would want though. There's Kenneth Walker. There's Jaden Reed. Kenneth Walker's not going to help us because I'm going to rock Pacheco. So I need to get my hands on Jaden Reed. I need to figure out where he is first. Jaden Reed's on the Eagles. They have pretty good depth. They got Puka. Akua. I can't imagine it's going to cost that much to take Jaden Reed from them. Let's see if they'll take him for like a really shitty draft pick. Seventh round. Okay. I didn't even consider that. I'll trade you Nico Collins. Nico Collins and a fifth round pick for Jaden Reed. Sorry, Nico Collins. Love you, bud. It's Jaden Reed's time. Also, fuck Michigan. So yeah, here we go. Now, as I say that, right, I wanted Micah Parsons, but you know who's another really good option that isn't Micah Parsons? Is Aiden Hutchinson. I think it'd be easier to get our hands on Aiden Hutchinson and he should still progress really well. He's on the Bengals. He's 87 overall. He's superstar. I almost feel like they win this trade. If I give up Saquon for Hutch, let's try and get like a first round pick out of it too. Because I don't have a first round pick right now since I'm the Browns. Oh my God, they almost did that. I'm so glad I upped that trade. So I could get, Saquon is very valuable. I could get Hutch a first 
and probably a second. Dude, this was a really good trade in my opinion. So we give up Saquon, two third rounders and a fifth rounder. We get the Bengals' Aiden Hutchinson and their first and second round pick in the upcoming draft. That's massive. Keep in mind, we will trade those picks if there's no good Big Ten players available, but that remains to be seen. All right, boys, here is Jack Harbaugh's official lineup. We're ready for season one. Got our hands on Michigan State's Jaden Reed. I'm gonna make him a focus point of this offense. I love Olave. Olave's really good too, but Jaden Reed is even younger. I'm putting him at slot wide receiver. I want him to get crazy good reps. I'm obviously a little biased, but hey, it's my video. I got Daxton Hill at slot corner, TJ Watt at rush left end, and Hutch. TJ Watt's at rush left end, Hutch is at rush right end, Maurice Hurst at D-tackle, and then Jack Campbell and Micah McFadden are my sub-linebackers. Offensive line looks great. We're not a very high overall right now, but my team is very young. We have a lot of young players on this team. Only other adjustment I want to make is my sub-linebacker. I'm going to put Daxton Hill as my backup sub-linebacker. Those guys end up getting a lot of reps in like nickel formations. My offensive scheme is going to be West Coast zone run. Defensively, we're running a base 4-3. I've got Kansas City on offense. Hopefully, this will allow Justin Fields to develop into a more pass-oriented quarterback and not so much a scrambler. As much as I'd love to run Bears offense, I actually want to win games. And then defensive playbook, I'm going Dallas. They have a good 4-3 scheme and they run 4-6. I think that'll be perfect for Hutchinson and TJ Watt. I think we're ready to go, boys. We're 3-3 three and three at midseason. Our overall is definitely going up. We're certainly not a playoff contender right now, but I'm happy to see that we're winning some games. Jack Harbaugh, coaching legend. We went 11 and 6 in the first season. I mean, it is a fantasy draft, so roughly everybody's team is the same overall, but I am very shocked that we played this well in the first season. Let's take a look around the league to see how our players did. Justin Fields was 13th in the NFL in passing yards. I'm shocked we went 11 and 6. We must have played really good defense. Did we win any awards? We're not in the MVP running at all. AFC Offensive Player of the Year ends up being Najee Harris. Defensive player of the year, would you look at that fifth in the league is Aiden Hutchinson. TJ Watt nowhere to be found, so Hutch is up there. Offensive rookie of the year goes to Bijan Robinson. Jaden Reed gets fifth. Sam Laporta gets eighth. So we're certainly up there, but couldn't beat Bijan. Defensive rookie of the year, no! Jack Campbell comes in second to Jalen Carter. Came really close, boys. Cam Mitchell, great season for him, comes in seventh. So we had some guys in the running, but nothing crazy there. Doesn't look like we won any awards this season, unfortunately. So I, once again, I'm really shocked that we're 11 and 6 without winning any of those things. Justin Fields had an okay season, 25 and 10, 3,700 yards. Full NFL, Geno Smith. Dude, I'm telling you, Dallas Cowboys offense. Geno Smith leads the fucking league. Guess who's next? Kansas City offense, Russell Wilson. Josh Allen is third. Anthony Richardson is fourth with Steelers offense. That's actually insane. I've never seen that before. And then Danny Dimes on the Bills. Herbert, Ritter, Goff, Purdy. This game is so fun. Alrighty. Pacheco had 1,100 yards and 13 touchdowns. Love to see that. Jaden Reed, 931 and 7. That's an okay season. We're looking to definitely bump those numbers up as Justin Fields gets better. Moore had a good season. Laporte had a good season. Alave, very uninvolved. That's shocking to see. He is my wide receiver too. So maybe I got to move to wide receiver three where Rondale Moore is. That's weird. Defensively, Jack Campbell leads our team in tackles. He had a sack and two interceptions. Michael McFadden had 117, eight TFLs, two interceptions. Daxton Hill, three TFLs, four interceptions. Great season for him. 11 and a half sacks out of Aiden Hutchinson. Seven and a half out of TJ Watt. You got an issue here. Josh Pascoe's coming in. He shouldn't be. He's Kentucky. I just got to cut him from the team and get somebody else there, I guess. I don't know how that happened. Mafe had a good season. Hurst was okay. Okay. I got to figure that out. We'll be good. He's the backup to TJ Watt in the depth chart. That's so weird. I'm going to Boye Mafe there. Mafe is a good edge rusher. I'm going to move Mafe to my backup to TJ Watt, and hopefully those stats will go to him next season. If we make it to the championship, I'll watch, but I don't expect us to go for a run here. We just beat the Broncos. There's no way we beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs are fucking superheroes in this game. This is where we lose. Is this going to be the shortest rebuild of all time? Oh my God, is this going to be the shortest rebuild of all time? We just beat the Chiefs. Dude, look at this playoff bracket. 28 to 14 against the Chiefs. 21 to 13 against the Broncos. We take on the Houston Texans. Holy shit. Jack Harbaugh, coaching legend. Wait a minute. I have never won a Super Bowl in my first year, ever. It's never happened to me before. Could it happen? happen right now. I 
I'd keep the rebuild going anyway, even if we won it here. But dude, let's scout the Texans real quick. Texans have Lamar Jackson, Cam Hayward, Charvarius Ward, Jalen Carter, Chase Young. Holy shit. Look at that D-line. Chase Young, Jalen Carter, Cam Hayward, Van Der Esch, Rashad White. This is a weird team. Who are your wide receivers? Darius Slayton? Kadarius? It's like, geez. It's a bum squad. Dude, I'm surprised they made it this far. Let's, let's do it, boys. 85 overall Browns taking on the 85 overall Houston Texans. They got two X factors. They only got one. I'll probably play one drive on offense and defense since I want to test out this team we built, but I don't want to heavily influence this game. Let's let our boys play. Play a little defense. We got Jack Campbell and McFadden in the middle, and there's our big boys off the edge. Hutch and Watt. He finds a rifle. Big hit on Kadarius Tony. That was Jaquan Brisker, Penn State. Ooh, is this a little run play? I'm going to hop on Jaquan Brisker and blow this up if it's a left side run. Oh, it is. Oh, it isn't. Let's play action. I vacated my safety. Big hit. Hey, Boye Mafe with a monster hit right there. I'm going to blitz everybody. Get home, boys. Second and six. Lots of blitzers. And oh my God, I just whiffed. Jordan Addison's going to... I just got my ankles broke by the computer, bro. Lamar's a beast. Stood in that pocket and delivered. Houston, 7-0. The all Big Ten lineup in the AFC Championship in their first season. Pacheco in the backfield. Rutgers. Olave, Ohio State. Justin Fields. Ohio State. Jaden Reed, Michigan State. Sam Laporta, Iowa. Rondale Moore, Purdue. Let's see what we got on this opening drive. Don't forget that Justin Fields can run. I think we just got a holding. No discipline out of the Big Ten. 10. Yikes. And it was our 69 overall right tackle to Nicholas Petit Freer. That's a bummer. All right, let's go get it back, boys. Oh, I see you right there, Jaden Reed. We're going to the igloos, baby. That's my Eskimo brother. Yes, I'll keep making that joke. You can't fucking stop me. Here we go. A little RPO to the boy, Jaden Reed. Hey, did I ever tell you guys me and him had sex with the same girl? Did I ever tell you guys that story? Okay, first and 10. Let's go, Sammy boy. Big Laporta, huge catch. Second and inches. Tempo, tempo, tempo. We're moving this offense quick. I think Laporta's going to have a seam here. Let's not predetermine. Oh, but he does. Justin Fields is still Justin Fields. Yikes. Hey, it's third and inches. They do have an insane D-line, but I still believe in Pacheco. Pacheco was born for this. Pacheco, get out in front. 14 yards. Great work. All right, now we're going to take a big shot here. Chris Olave coming across the field. It looks like man coverage. I just need a little bit of time. Step up in the pocket. He's there. Great ball. Justin Fields and Olave is in the end zone. Let's get it, baby. Seven to seven. That's as much input as I can have. Let's send it to the end of this game. Seven to seven. Texans score. Browns respond. Texans respond. Browns touchdown. It's 17 to 17. Oh, my goodness. No fucking way we go to the ball. No scoring. 20 to 17. Oh my God, are we about to win? Second and 12. Texans have no timeouts left. We actually could win. I can't believe he didn't hand that off. Checks down to Pacheco and goes out of bounds. What are you doing? Hand that off so the clock ticks. Third and 12. Cleveland's got 332 total yards. Deshaun Watson in the pocket. Wait, you're not Deshaun. Wait, fuck. I said Deshaun Watson. Justin Fields flushed out of the pocket. Got a punt here. Kind of a punt dot. Oh my God, fucking punt dot on the one. I've never seen that in franchise before. Holy shit, that might've just iced the game. First and 10, Houston needs a field goal to send this into OT, but they're taking it out of their own end zone. They have no timeouts. That's second and five, that clock is ticking. Holy shit, no timeouts. You gotta go 99 yards in a minute 50. I'd be impressed with some hot pass rush. Great defense. Daxton Hill. Boxed. Hutch. TJ, get home. This is when you big boys got to get home. Those tackles have no abilities. He's getting rid of that ball so fast, though. Another great breakup. Is that Cam Mitchell? Oh, it's not. Kirby Joseph. Fourth and five. This is ball game. We win the AFC Championship. We get the stop right here. Take over from the five. Fourth and five. Stepping up. Oh, almost intercepted, but the SWAT was the right call because we take over on the five. Victory formation. This game is over. Oh my God, are we seriously going to do this? I've never won it in the first year. Jack Harbaugh wins the AFC Championship in his very first season. 
off of a clutch defensive performance from the Big Ten. Justin Fields had a really good game too. 23 for 33, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Lamar was also solid. Rashad White was good. Pacheco was a little bit better. It was defensively where we won that game. 12 tackles, Jack Campbell. A sack out of TJ Watt. A sack out of Aiden Hutchinson. And Antoine Winfield forced a fumble. That's how we won the game. He also recovered it. Minnesota, the Golden Gophers stepping up for the Big Ten. That's huge. That's how you win that game right there. Jaquan Brisker's getting an upgrade too. He ended up being a really good pick too. Taking all those safeties was nice. Plus one speed, plus one hit power on Brisker. Very nice upgrade for him. Daxton Hill is playing that sub linebacker really, really well too. Reminds me of another Michigan safety, Jabril Peppers. All right, that's a win right there. We can take this up to the Super Bowl. I don't know if my players get dev trade upgrades for making the Super Bowl, but hopefully they do. It's really our only chance to get dev trade upgrades because this season we didn't play. Nobody played well enough to get a dev trade upgrade. Our Super Bowl is against the Washington Commanders, who have Christian McCaffrey and what else? What? Well, I guess it's a fantasy draft, so it doesn't really matter what team I take on. McCaffrey, Joe Burrow, Tyran Matthew, Hendrickson, DeForest Buckner, Calvin Ridley, Zadari. This is a scary ass team. Damn. McCaffrey and Shiesty. Got that grit backfield. Lots of big upgrades. Daxton Hill, Boye Mafe. Wait a minute. There were dev trade upgrades because Daxton Hill got superstar, I think it just said. So offensively, no dev trade upgrades. Just unlocked Jaden Reed, unlocked Laporta. But defensively, it looks like Jack Campbell, Aiden Hutchinson, Daxton Hill, and Michael McFadden all get a dev trade upgrade. Holy shit. Defense wins championships, boys. Defense wins championships. That's amazing. Daxton Hill, Jack Campbell. Damn. We went from an 80 to an 85 overall team in one season and we went 11 and 6 it's not like we went undefeated or something i'm really really happy with how he played let's go into the super bowl baby it's 9 to 10 in the super bowl i'm gonna take over for a pretty crucial fourth down here i want to do one drive with this offense and defense and then let my team take over from there they've already taken over so well this is my first snap and they're up by one Justin Fields sacked. Maybe I shouldn't have taken over. I came in and sold, but that's all right. Let's see if I can make up for it on defense. Oh, that was from the 27. First play for the commanders is Joe Burrow stepping up and almost just sent him to the hospital. Second and four, they're using the clock here. Understandably, what do they want here? Throws to the boundary. Third and one. Third and one, we're gonna go for the blitz here. Can't let McCaffrey get this. Oh, it's a slip screen. Slip screen bottled up by Jack Campbell. Fourth and five, we'll call a timeout and offense will have a little bit of time to go score. I think Washington now has four field goals. The commanders have four field goals in the Super Bowl in the first half. That's Brett Maher on the field goal. Taking over here on offense again. Gotta be a little bit better than last time. Just coach wants a post wheel shallow route. I'm gonna go Olave. He's gonna grab it third and three. Clock is not on our side. I'm listening to whatever coach says here. Can I find him again? Olave back to back. We'll use our final timeout. 24 seconds. Kind of got to get out of bounds. Maybe I'll have enough time to spike it. We're going to go play action here. Nobody should be biting on that play action. I can go right over the top to Olave. Can we get the spike off? Get up there. Six seconds on the clock. 52 yard field goal. Let's take it with Tucker McCann. Tucker McCann. Biggest kick of his life. Did I shake it? No absolutely drills it. Bailey Zappi on the hold. All right, boys, that's all the input I can have. It's time to let our team determine this game. It's 13 to 12, now 20 to 12, now 20 to 18, 21 to 20. And the commanders have the ball in the red zone. Oh no, no, Cleveland. We didn't come this far in the first ever year to lose it, right? It's gonna be a handoff McCaffrey. He's got a whole lot of room. Daxton Hill in there with Jack Campbell. Second and five, we're burning our timeouts. We gotta keep him out the end zone. If we want a shot, we gotta keep him out the end zone. Get home, Hutch. Check down's good. Great throw. First and goal. We're out of timeouts. We got the two-minute warning on our side. But if they get in the end zone, we're in so much trouble. Checks down. Woo! Incomplete pass. That's huge. Second and goal. This has got to be handoff. You got to come down, Brisker. Yes! Jack Campbell's there to fill it. Great work, Jack Campbell. Third and goal. Commanders come back up to the line. This looks like a pass. Let's get this pass incomplete. Stop that clock. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Joe Burrow! Touchdown, Commanders. What a clutch play. Did they kick the peep? Under review? Oh, my God. Are they saying maybe he's out of bounds? Oh, we challenged it. Okay, totally steps out of bounds there, but he clearly does have possession of the football. Ruling on the field was upheld. I respect that we challenged it, though. I've never actually seen that in a sim before. They do take the PAT, so we have, we have a minute 14 to score and get a two-point conversion. 
Oh my goodness, we turned the ball over already. Wow. I was trying to sim up to see what happened, but we literally turned the ball over on that opening drive. Honestly, dude, the fact that this lineup made it to the Super Bowl is so crazy. I never won it in my first year. I still have it now. But dude, I'm so happy with how that team played. And for making the Super Bowl, we got some crazy good dev trade upgrades. Jack Campbell, Daxton Hill, Aiden Hutchinson all got a dev trade upgrade. We lose the Super Bowl to the Commanders, but this rebuild is certainly not over. All right, next up is the NFL draft. I think I want to draft a tackle. Here's why. So Petit Freer, I guess he's a 74 overall. He's doing all right. The only reason I say that is because there is a really good Michigan State tackle. So the top five, look at the top five here. Notre Dame, Texas, Clemson, Boise State, TCU. I literally can't draft any of these guys. In this whole first round, there's barely anybody I could draft. I could draft the Michigan State quarterback, the Iowa left tackle, uh, <laughs> the Michigan wide receiver, the Iowa outside linebacker, the Penn State right tackle. Ooh, George Williams, Illinois corner. He could be a good option too. Oh my God. That Bengals draft pick that we got for Hutchinson, that's round one pick five. Dude, here's the thing. I could take Will Peterson, but look at Will Peterson, okay? He does look like a really, really good right tackle. Great, solid strength, you know, really good stats. But there's a, another tackle. There's another two tackles who look pretty good. Mike Ash looks similarly good. Left tackle. There's a Penn State right tackle at 20 three who looks amazing. I think I'm going to trade this pick down. I'm going to give it to somebody who's going to give me a haul for it. There's even Hugh McCune out of Ohio State who looks pretty good. He's dropped a little bit, but I'm going to trade this away. This is too high of a pick. I'm probably going to trade down to like 25-ish. Just get more capital here. Commanders will give me two first round picks, a second, a fourth. San Fran will give me a first, a sixth, and a seventh, and then this year's first. I'm taking that right there. Trade down to 24, draft a tackle there, and I get another first rounder for next year. I can't believe the Bengals were so dog shit. That's crazy. All right, we're skipping up to our next pick. Will Peterson just went. If Will Peterson was like a superstar tackle, then yeah, that was a whiff. But I think we did this right. Actually, you know who I'm taking instead? I'm going to take George Williams. A tackle, C-man coverage. Okay, whatever, but look at his physicals. I think he's definitely hitting dev, maybe superstar. Great jumping, great speed, great strength, elite acceleration. His only bad thing is change of direction. He's a 5'10 zone corner out of Illinois. I'm drafting George Williams right here. Hidden dev 94. Oh my God, this guy a monster. Hidden dev 94, speed 95, excel. The trade down was definitely the right call. And we also have the Bengals second round pick. So I have round two pick five here. If I can get a tackle right now, please tell me one of those tackles is still available. The Iowa tackle's gone. Damn. There's the Michigan State quarterback, but I got Fields. I don't really need him. It's an Ohio State strong safety. I can't take that. There's a Wisconsin free safety. I can't take that. Wisconsin left end. Alton Horn is a 6'4", 3'11", run stopper end. Dude, low-key, I can move this dude to D-tackle. He's got great strength, and then the rest of his physicals are kind of shit. A play rec, A tackle. I almost want to trade this pick down, too. There really isn't shit here. I'm actually going to take this shot here. I'm going to take a shot here on this Ohio State left end. Was he a left end? Where the fuck did that guy go? Oh, he's Wisconsin. He's Wisconsin, not Ohio State. Either way, he's Big Ten. I'm going to draft Alton Horn. Oh, he is hidden dev. This is on normal draft classes, by the way. This is not strong draft class at any position. So that's crazy. He's more of a D-tackle, though. He's a 71 speed, 89 strength, 311 pound left end. I'm just going to move him to D-tackle. I'm going to trade away my end of round two pick just for anything. Maybe some trade bait for next year. A second and a fourth rounder next year. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, Minnesota. And now we'll sim to the end of the draft. I got two big picks. Draft recap, boys. Let's see how we did. George Williams a fucking savage. 77 overall corner round one pick 24 traded down and got him 94 speed 95 excel amazing pickup elton horn out of wisconsin's a 72 overall really slow he's hidden dev i'm moving him right now to d tackle see he might even be a higher overall at d tackle and i'll probably start him over maurice hurst from michigan that way he can get some reps he's a 74 overall at d tackle i could just tell that this guy was a d tackle cpu made some picks they got a 94 speed halfback but he's out of clemson can't use him tcu can't use him ole miss we could use roman marsh out of wisconsin and we can't use the Wake Forest guard. Did not get a tackle though. I wanted to get a tackle and I didn't. Taking a look at the entire, wow, this was a shit class. The highest overall in the class was 77. So we got one of the highest overall players in the class. Roby, Zach, Tyson, George Williams. So that was a really good pick. This is a dog shit class. By the way, this is why I usually use strong draft classes because I just think this is so lame. But it is a lot more balanced. This is how it should be. Whatever. I'm sticking to normal for this whole rebuild. So my new slot corner is no longer
longer going to be Daxton Hill. I'm going to move George Williams out of Illinois right there. And my corners are going to be Kirby Joseph, Daxton Hill. Cam Mitchell had a really good season. I want to keep him in. I'm going to move Daxton Hill out of my corner rotation. And Daxton Hill is basically going to be a sub linebacker on this team. I'm glad I have Daxton Hill still. He'll be sub linebacker, which we are going to need for sure. And then Jack Campbell as the backup sub middle linebacker. Okay, the only other adjustment we got to make is D-tackle. Right now, it's Maurice Hurst, who is six years in the league. Alton Horn is a rookie. He's only four overall lower, so that's definitely a big pickup right there. We're chilling, boys. We are chilling. Hopefully, uh, Justin Fields can bring out a much better season here now that he's a higher overall. All right, boys, season two. Let's see what we're made of. Doing a little bit better than last season with a more difficult schedule. Four and two at midseason, 89 defense, 86 offense. We beat the Bengals bad. Lost to the Texans, lost to the Buccaneers, beat the Patriots beat the Raiders, beat the Steelers. Oh, the last game of the season's against the Commanders. Wow. All right. I actually need, I kind of want to watch that game. Nah, I just hope we beat them. Looks like we should go to the playoffs again. Dude, maybe this team was just built to run deep playoff runs. I don't know why or what about this team is really so good. Maybe it's the edge rushers. It might be double X factor ends. I think that's what's impacting this. We end the season with the exact same record of 11 and 6, but look at the Bengals. The Bengals made a serious comeback. They are also 11 11 and 6 in the AFC North. Maybe we'll see them in the playoffs. Look at Isaiah Pacheco, man. I knew this was the right call. Look at how good he gets. Saquon Barkley would have been a waste, man. He'd be a 99, but then that's the max. Isaiah Pacheco is a 94 overall. He's younger. He's so good, man. Kirby Joseph's going to get an upgrade here, too. We'll give him a little zone upgrade. Kirby Joseph went from strong safety to corner, and he has been excelling. He's been doing an excellent job. Everybody is progressing nicely. Good morale on the squad. And defensively, George Williams. George George Williams was drafted a superstar. That was such a good pick. I guess it makes sense. He was a top three player in the class. But the rookie out of Illinois is a superstar corner. Yeah, Elton Horn is a star. He's now a 79 overall. Hurst is a 79 overall. Great work from everyone. And just like that, Justin Fields leads. I didn't make any changes to offense. And Justin Fields leads the league in passing yards all of a sudden. Huge improvement, dude. It was just those stats. His stats last year were bad. Now they're good. Justin Fields leads the league. 35 and 15. Probably not an MVP season. But a really good season. Saquon, who we traded to the Bengals, almost went for 2,000. Yikes. Pacheco, 1,009. Monster fucking season from Jaden Reed. Holy shit, 1,216. Rondell Moore, 1,105. Sam Laporta, 9, 10, and 8. Good season. Honestly, Olave is the only guy who's like not doing anything. I use a pretty high pick on Olave. Maybe I should have gone defensive there instead. Jack Campbell leads the team again. George Williams is second. Two interceptions for George Williams. 14 and a half sacks, TJ Watt. Eight and a half, Aiden Hutchinson. That's almost defensive player of the year stats. That's crazy good the fuck i have literally removed josh pascal from like every single i'm literally cutting him how are you still getting i'm releasing you josh pascal's gone i don't know how the hell he keeps getting stats he, he's not in any position at all not even backups this guy just really wants to hit the field i respect it six interceptions out of kirby joseph holy shit and he might have like led the league in interceptions that's a lot of interceptions number one of the leagues byron murphy two is fred warner three is kirby joseph awesome the sack leader was micah parsons damn it i wanted to get him then it's aaron donald miles garrett josh allen montez sweat then it's tj Watt. Great season, though. Great season. Can we Cinderella this whole season again? Do we beat the Colts? Not this year. We lose to the Colts in the wild card. There's something we have to do, boys. We're going to get a Maryland Terrapin right now. Stefan Diggs went to Maryland. Probably the best Maryland player ever. I'm going to give up Olave. Olave is just... I have a ton of Ohio State guys, number one, and Olave really just hasn't done much. I don't think there's any reason to keep going at Olave. Let's just see how the trade looks straight up. Holy shit. They're literally willing to do it almost already. He's a 90 overall and he's young. I'm gonna give a fourth rounder up in Olave. Almost. Late second. Boom. Stefan Diggs, we got a Maryland Terrapin for Olave in a second. Sorry, Olave. Olave wasn't doing much, man. I'm moving Diggs to wide receiver three, which is where Rondell Moore was previously, and he was getting a lot of reps there. So now we got a, a super high overall vet wide receiver, and then we still got Jaden Reed and Rondell Moore. Jaden Reed now a superstar as well, so yeah, this is looking good. I wonder if we could get George Kittle for our two first rounders. George Kittle's old now, dude. I, you might actually be able to get George Kittle. We're basically selling out for the Super Bowl this season. A first rounder for George Kittle is not enough, obviously. 
obviously. How about a first and a second, George Kittle? If they can't consider the offer, it'll put us over the salary cap? What? I will put you over the salary cap. You have 45.9 mil. What? That doesn't make any sense. We don't need another trade. Our team is nasty. Let's draft, boys. Let's draft. The draft is too much fun not to do it. Hey, I said I wanted to tackle Gavin Mulligan out of Ohio State with elite excel agility and jumping, which are all useless for a tackle, but this guy looks nasty. I think he should be hidden dev. Hidden dev tackle. Exactly what this team needed. Gavin Mulligan. Nice work. He'll probably replace Taylor Lewan, who's 33 or 34 now. Got another pick here. Best player available is this Michigan right end, Taylor Thornton. Taylor Thornton is hidden dev. 86 excel, 82 speed, 86 strength. He's a right end, so he does not have a place on this team right now, but down the line, I think it'd be nice to have him. It's gonna be hard to pay Aiden Hutchinson and TJ Watt and the rest of the studs on this team, so there's a chance we'll need him. If not, he'll be good for a trade. This will be our last pick here. I'm gonna take Ohio State center Ben Vallejo. He's normal dev, 85 strength, 77 excel. I need a backup center. My centers are getting old too. Ted Karras is now 32, I think. And our next pick is not till the fourth round. I'll advance to the end of the draft. Let's see how we did. The draft recap. Whoa. Yo. Both of my picks after Gavin Mulligan were better Wow. My first pick was my worst pick of my first three, but that's honestly, Vallejo being a 74 is nasty and a 76 on Thornton. Granted, Mulligan is hidden dev and Vallejo is not hidden dev, but this is really, really good. CPU took a bunch of bums, understandably. This guy's out of Purdue, so we could use him and that's it. Wow. Another really nice draft. Two back-to-back -back good drafts. I'm happy about that. Best player in the class. This time was a 79 overall at a USC. Uh, Ohio State right end, Florida State right tackle. So we're still up there. We still had a good draft. So Taylor Lewan did retire. So the timing on Gavin Mulligan was really good. My left guard, I don't even remember who my left guard was, but he also retired. So Ben Vallejo, the timing was amazing. He's a 76 at left guard. Ted Karras is still playing out of Illinois. My right guard is still Will Fries out of Penn State. And right tackle, Nicholas Petit Freer out of uh, Ohio State. So offensive line was saved by that draft class right there. And I'm also going to move Diggs to my slot wide receiver. I want the best guy getting the ball the most. I think this could be our Super Bowl season. Our team is nasty good and still getting better. Let's see what we can do here, boys. Let's head to midseason. Six and one. This is our absolute best record at midseason. AFC North is struggling. I think this might be our year. A three-year Super Bowl is fast. <laughs> Dude, it does not matter how we start a season. We have gone 11 and six in three straight years. That's actually crazy. That's gotta be harder to do than anything else, really. 11 and six, three times in a row. Here's a playoff bracket. We're taking on Tennessee. Oh my God, no Kansas City, no Dallas. That's crazy. Washington's the one seed. Washington is an absolute powerhouse though. It's weird not seeing Kansas City or Dallas though. And Justin Fields is all over the place. He is now sixth in the league in passing yards, but his touchdown to interception ratio is getting better and better. And that's what we want out of him. Pacheco, 1275 and 15 touchdowns. His best season by far. Receiving Laporta's the leader. Diggs is second, Moore is third. What is going on? This is so weird. Laporta just went off, I guess. Campbell continues to be a powerhouse in the middle. Seven CFLs and interception. 20, what? 25 sacks out of TJ Watt and 13 out of Hutchinson. Five out of Elton Horn. Two out of Jack Campbell. Oh my God. What did we get three sacks a game every single game? I've never seen that. Two interceptions, Daxton Hill, one Jack Campbell. Dude, I'm befuddled. I am flabbergasted. How did that happen? He had to have won Defensive Player of the Year. MVP is Joe Burrow. Justin Fields got sixth. Not bad. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Ayuk. Pacheco comes in second. Not bad. Defensive Player of the Year is TJ Watt. It had to be. Hutchinson was third with 13 sacks. TJ Watt gets first. Great work. No Offensive Rookie of the Year. Taylor Thornton came in seventh Defensive Rookie of the Year. We got best D-line. Hell yeah. That's awesome. TJ Watt, Defensive Player of the Year. Great work. Dude, if we make it all the way, I pray we see the Commanders. But we got to get through the wild card first. Ooh, close game. Game. Very close game. Win against the Titans, 31 to 28. Now we take on the 11 and 6 Steelers. This is a rivalry matchup. What do the Steelers got? I want to see their lineup. Steelers have AJ Brown, Panay Sewell, Nick Chubb, 399s. Then Stingley, Cisco, Tyron Smith. Oh, right. They have Anthony Richardson. We got TJ Watt, Diggs, and Hutchinson. So 399s of our own. Then Pacheco, 98, Winfield, Laporta, Justin Fields, Jack Campbell. Can we make it past the Steelers? If we do, I want to check in on the AFC Championship. 
Dude, look at how close these wins have been. Three points we beat the Titans by. One point we beat the Steelers by. Now we take on the Raiders, who absolutely shit on the Dolphins and shit on the Chargers. And look who is still alive, dude. It might be a rematch against the Commanders. We'll have to see. But right now we're taking on the Raiders. We're the five seed. Raiders are the six seed. This has been a weird playoffs. They're 10 and seven. They've got Jair Alexander. What else does this Raiders team have? They got 99 Jair, 99 Jacobs, 98 Metcalf, 96 Tunsil. Who is their quarterback? Aaron Rodgers, 20 years in the league. Holy shit. Let's play ball. We're 91 overall. We got lots of X factors. This is a different team than last time. All right, boys, opening drive. Play a little defense here. Ooh, I expected a run. Aaron Rodgers feeds it into Josh Jacobs. Nice tackle, Boye Mafe. Going on Jack Campbell here. This may be a left side run. Ooh, it's a little RPO. What? What? What just happened? All right, first and 10. Got to make up for it. Rodgers goes down. Boye Mafe. Maybe the blitz was the move. Let's try that again. Coming in with Jack Campbell. Oh, no. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, no. Albert O is going to take this one all the way. Got a little greedy on those blitzes. Vegas gets seven. All right, boys. 7-0. Hey, a big run from Pacheco. Is he going to go up? No, he can't. Got flagged down, but the opening drive is 30 yards. Pacheco. Going to go play action here. See if we can't find something deep. Is that there? It is. Moore's got it. Rondell Moore, Purdue. Nice catch. Well, wow, this is going to be a three-play touchdown. Let's look for Sammy Laporta in the back of that end zone. One more play action. He's not there, but Jaden Reed is. Second and three. Keep up the tempo. Let's go with a zone toss to Isaiah Pacheco. See if we can hold those blocks on the edge. Looking good so far. Pacheco, use that speed. Use that speed. Pacheco to the one. Two rushes, 39 yards. The AFC chip, it's getting scrappy. Punch this in, Pacheco. He's got Darius McFadden on that D-line. Go right over top. Isaiah Pacheco, too easy. Dogs are in the end zone, and I got to let my team do the rest. Seven to seven. Browns. Oh, get nothing there. But a field goal there. Field goal for Las Vegas. It's 10 to 10. It's 13 to 10. It's 13 to 13, 20 to 13, 20 to 20. Here we go. This could be the final drive of the game. 20 to 20 in the AFC Championship. All right, Justin Fields in the backfield. That's not Isaiah Pacheco because there's, or no, it is. It is Pacheco. He just doesn't have superstar. Hand off Pacheco. 15 rushes, 98 yards and a touchdown. All we need is field goal range. Let's see if we hand it off again. I feel like I would. Drops back. He's not handing it off. Fields looks caught. Sam Laporta, and he keeps running. Gets an additional four yards there. That's almost field goal range, but not quite. Let's see how they manage this clock. Las Vegas still has all three timeouts. Not a handoff to Pacheco, but a really tough catch. Jaden Reed came down with a clutch one right there. 50 seconds on the clock. We're in range. Could win off the field goal here. Here's a handoff. Pacheco does not read his blocks well. Second and 10. Timeout Cleveland, why? You're in field goal range. Why are you calling a timeout? Let the clock tick. We might be running jet sweep. It's a fake jet sweep. Hand off Pacheco. And he marches for six. That was a hell of a play. Another timeout Cleveland. What am I missing? Why are we calling timeouts? You guys are in range to win this game. A nice pull block. Pacheco down to the seven. Now Vegas is calling timeouts. Oh, I can't believe Isaiah Pacheco just put this game away. Don't run it in though, right? Just keep chewing that clock, chew their timeouts, and end this game with a field goal. There's a timeout Cleveland for some reason. I really don't get why we're calling timeouts when we're in range. We are doing Las Vegas a service here. Pacheco after four yards is stuffed. It's third and goal. 20 rushes, 134 yards and a touchdown. With no time left, Las Vegas isn't even gonna use their timeouts. Three, two, one. Drill the field goal. Presumably a game winner, but there is a second left on this clock. I've seen it before. I really hope I don't see it now. No squib, no high kick, just a standard kickoff down the middle. Zero seconds left. Thank you. Let's go, Cleveland. Jack Harbaugh getting lit on the sidelines because the Raiders go down in the AFC Championship and we find ourselves in the Super Bowl once again. Fields, 15 for 25 in a touchdown. Okay game. Pacheco carried. Isaiah Pacheco carried that game. Defensively, a sack out of Mafe, a sack out of Watt, a sack out of Elton Horn, and one interception, Michael McFadden. Honestly, with all those sacks, the interception, you'd think we have won by a little more, but very close game. Now it's time for
for the Super Bowl. Are we going to take on the Commanders again? I hope so, dude. I hope it's not Tampa Bay. No, it's Tampa Bay. The 11 and 6 Browns take on the 11 and 6 Buccaneers. Honestly, was hoping to get my rematch with the Commanders, but they lost 33 to 30. It's been a very close playoff for everybody, dude. Close games here. Taking on the 11 and 6 Buccaneers. Got some big upgrades. TJ Watt is going to a official 99 overall. Going to give him the speed rusher upgrade. He's going to get finesse, play rec, power moves, strength, and tackle. TJ Watt, absolute freak of nature. Alan the Horn, the right end converted to a D tackle, is going to go up to an 85 overall or 84 overall prior to Super Bowl and get a speed upgrade. And it is Super Bowl week, so... Hey, I was about to say, let's see dev trade upgrades. My backfield got their superstar upgrades. That's Justin Fields and Pacheco. So happy that these guys have abilities. Pacheco, I definitely want you to have tank. Such a good ability. Let's give you Jukebox and let's give you Armbar. Justin Fields finally gets superstar of his own. Tight out is good for Laporta. Let's get you some Dead Eyes, though. No Look Dead Eyes, a very nice one. And, and we'll give him Gutsy Scrambler. Why not? Look at how good Isaiah Pacheco's gotten, too. Unbelievable. Defensively, it looks like Kirby Joseph did get a dev trade upgrade. He goes up to a superstar. Good for him. Antoine Winfield's a high overall. Same with Brisker, but no dev traits. Jack Campbell, a 92. This really could be the Super Bowl lineup. We have double 99 edge rushers. Hutchinson, TJ Watt. And Micah McFadden is a star as well. Buccaneers. Oh, that explains it. They have 99 Mahomes, 99 Derwin, 99 Jameer Gibbs. Jerry Judy, Jalen Johnson, Derek Brown, Justin Simmons, Paris Johnson, Bradley Chubb. They got Hugh McCune. I almost drafted him. Turn out he was a superstar. Damn, nice pickup. Curtis Samuel, Nolan Smith. It's a good team, certainly. All right, boys, for all the marbles, 91 versus 90. First and 10, I'll start on offense. Rondale Moore, Jaden Reed, Sam Laporte. How about a little post corner out of Sammy, boy? How do we feel about that? Maybe not. That pocket collapsed. Laporte was not open. It's third and 17. This is a bad starting drive. Justin Fields is going through it right now. Gonna try dagger, see who's home. Sam Laporta's home. He's wide open. First and 10. Let's make sure we use everybody here. I want everybody to get a touch. What about Diggs? What about our Maryland Terrapin? Can't forget. Great catch. Lots of room. Big juke. I love that we picked him up. All right. Let's switch it up. Let's get the halfback back here with me. Let's hand this off to Pacheco. Solid blocks. Get to the edge. Use that speed. Nice work. Second and two. Let's take a shot. I think this is a tougher two. So maybe Jaden Reed down the middle. Maybe not. Ooh. Sketchy pass, man. Pacheco to the edge. Wow. Look at the blocking here. Oh, waiting for my block. Oh, one stiff arm. He's not in. Oh, dude, that was textbook running, but he's not in. Hey, we still got Justin Fields, right? We still got Justin Fields. We're running pistol speed option. Let's see if this works, boys. Risky. Get the pitch off. Pacheco, stiff arm. He got it. That was nasty. Speed option between Ohio State and Rutgers. I love that. And we're going to fake PAT rollout pass to my Ohio State rookie tackle. Gavin, no. Oh my God, that was so free. And the kicker whiffs it. You're lying. That might have been the punter. I don't know who that was, but they whiffed it. That's a big mistake. First and 10. It's now 6-0 in the Super Bowl. I would have preferred a, a little different score here, but Kirby Joseph steps up, tries to lay the boom, but Jameer is a 99. Shedded that thing. Let's send a little blitz up the middle here. See if Patty Mahomes can keep up. Ooh, it's an RPO. We'll go around it. Big hit Jaquan Brisker. I'm going to go mid blitz here. I really want to apply some pressure to the quarterback. Okay, Jameer Gibbs. Second and five. They are widening out. Mahomes throws over the middle. Oh my God. They are breaking everything. KJ Osborne. Buccaneers are here to play. Could definitely be a run here on first and 10. No, it is a pass. He's got this sit down. He throws a bad ball. George Williams intercepts Mahomes. What is Mahomes doing? Oh my God. I can't believe that just happened. I want to run one more speed option. Then I'm giving it over to Sim. First and 10. It's just too fun. I'm going to keep this with Fields right now. Pitch it off. Pacheco. Speed option OP. With that backfield, it is. All right. Let's jump to the end of the game, boys. 6 0 lead. Browns get nothing. Tampa Bay scores. Browns score a touchdown 13 7, 16 7, 24 7. Tampa Bay's back on the board. So oh my God. Tampa Bay could score first and goal. They have no timeouts. Wait just a minute. Got to keep the ball inbounds. Let him throw short. Let him throw inbounds or sack him. Or sack him. Hutchinson. What? Get home. That burned. 30 seconds off the clock. That's so big. Just the amount of clock it's using is so big. Get home again. 
Mahomes is fast. He's taken off. Throws it out of bounds. Nice play. Third and goal. Let's just put it away, defense. Everything about this Big Ten rebuild has been about defense, honestly. We had 25 sacks out of TJ Watt this season. Brown's trying to track him down. He can't. Mahomes throws it away again. Fourth and goal. We are bagging the receivers downfield. They're going to take the field goal and onside kick instantly. Okay, I respect that because there's no way you convert this. This is actually the high IQ play. I'm surprised that Maddenson knows to do that. So they know they need the onside kick either way, and you're not going to convert from 22 yards out on fourth and goal. So you might as well take your field goal and then onside kick it. Brown's hands, team. The Super Bowl lies in your hands. Grabbed by Diggs. Stephon Diggs, the Maryland Terrapin. I knew that was a good trade. Victory formation for Cleveland. And in year three, Jack Harbaugh has been to two Super Bowls and comes away with one ring. Let's go. Let's go, boys. The Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl 24 to 17. Justin Fields, 19 for 30 and two touchdowns. Isaiah Pacheco, 10 for 66 and a touchdown. Diggs had a really good game through the air. So did Laporta. Jaden Reed really didn't do much. But hey, it's a team game, boys. Half a sack out of Hutchinson, half a sack out of TJ Watt. An interception, Kirby Joseph. Oh, I thought it was George Williams who had that interception. Oh, wait, they both did. Mahomes threw two interceptions in the Super Bowl. That's how you lose right there. They both had one. Three teams. TFL's out of Hutch. Amazing game. Super Bowl MVP is Justin Fields. Browns get their first ever Super Bowl. TJ Watt wins Defensive Player of the Year. That was an awesome season for us in 2025. And just so you guys can take a look at your Super Bowl winning roster, Justin Fields, Isaiah Pacheco, Jaden Reed, Diggs, Rondell Moore, Sam Laporta, and a very solid offensive line. Defensively, Aiden Hutchinson, TJ Watt, Alton Horn and Tyler Thornton, Jack Campbell, Micah McFadden, Boye Mafe, Brisker, Winfield, Kirby Joseph, George Williams, Cameron Mitchell. Hell yeah. All right, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was an absolute blast. I can't wait to see you guys in the next rebuild. Peace.